हे गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज विद्या आई एम ए ट्रैवल ब्लॉगर एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू मलपे बीच सेंट मेरीज आइलैंड स्टेला मेरीज चर्च मट्टू बीच कापू बीच आई एम नॉट श्योर इफ वील बी एबल टू कवर ऑल दिस प्लेसेज टुडे बट वील ट्राई सो फॉर टुडे आई हैव नॉट टेकन एनी पैकेज आइदर वील गो बाय बस और ऑटो एंड फॉर ब्रेकफास्ट आई ऑर्डर फ्रॉम जोमैटो सो या वी आर डन विद आर ब्रेकफास्ट एंड वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद आर ट्रिप First we went to Malpe beach which is around 6 kilometers from Udupi Regular ferry services are available at Malpe beach which will take you to St Mary's island Karnataka's first and only floating bridge at Malpe beach got partially dismantled within few days after its inauguration in the first week of May 2022 the bridge got damaged after it was hit by huge waves a new floating bridge has been installed at malpe beach when i went there the facility was under observation and not open to the public but now it's available for use again after its inauguration on 25 december 2022 Needless to say this beach was very crowded compared to other beaches i visited in udupi that too on a day when boating was not allowed alla id helda masala ha boat yot bandi one day samadh o yot illwa agar naale 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 a timing santa timing so belge irtare avru 7 gante inda irthada ha sankala avru irthada sankala avru yot illwa agare Yellow Amavasya falls on the new moon day of the Margashirsha month as per the Hindu calendar. Thousands of people visit the nearest sea to take a holy dip on this day. It's an important festival especially for farmers in the northern part of the state. Since ferries are not available today we have to postpone our plan. Next we are going to Stella Mary's church which is around 3 kilometers from Malpe beach. It's in Kalmadi. This church is very close to Malpe Natural Harbour. This church is located on the way to Malpe. It has been recently renovated with the new structure which resembles a boat and also has a bell tower in a shape of a lighthouse. Inspired by Noah's Ark, the newly constructed church was inaugurated on 6th January 2018 Stella Mary's Church also known as Kalmadi Church attracts thousands of pilgrims around the world The bell tower replicates Kapu Lighthouse The tower is nearly 80 feet in height. The bell is from Hamburg, Germany and weighs 305 kg. The honorary pillar is 43 feet tall. In the bottom of the pillar there are 8 divisions facing 8 sides. This church was built in the year 1972.
This is the model of the church. For lunch, we went to Hotel Timappa. Delicious meal at a reasonable price. Highly recommended. After lunch, we went to Mattu Beach, which is around 10 kilometers from Udupi. with backwaters on one side and sea on the other the drive to the beach is enough to rejuvenate your senses away from the bustling city This is one of the untouched beaches of the state. Mattu beach is around 10 kilometers from Udupi and it's a very secluded beach. Uh, it's not that crowded. It's quite calm and peaceful here. The beach is known for its calm backwaters, stunning views and beautiful sunset. We spent some time at the beach, clicked few pictures, and then moved to the next destination for sunset, Kapu Beach. Kapu Beach is around seven kilometers from Mattu Beach. On the way, we saw a peacock and a peahen. I was really excited to see them, and I got down here. to click some pictures but i don't think they were happy to see me i mean obviously who likes humans anyways let's continue kapu is a beach village in coastal karnataka Located between Mangalore and Udupi, Kapu Beach is another pristine beach which you should not miss. Just on time for the sunset. <laughs> my drone is acting weird uh, i'm really scared of flying my drone now i think uh, i have to climb up and get a bird's eye view of everything now this is one of those scenarios this lighthouse stands on a large rock with a height of 27.12 meters 
from its base. Lighthouse is open every day between 4 pm to 6 pm. During heavy rains, it might remain closed for safety reasons. Built with an intention to guide the sailors, today it has become one of the main attractions of Kapu Beach, which provides a view of the coast as well as Arabian Sea. This lighthouse was built in 1901 by East India Company. Climbing these stairs is quite a task. The stairs get steeper as you ascend. But once you reach the top, you will realize that it's worth the effort. It is predominantly known for its greenery that surrounds the beach. The panoramic view from the top is every photographer's dream. Long stretches of golden sand, huge rocks, trees all around, ships sailing in crystal clear water. This landscape has an amazing color palette. On top of that, watching the sun go down. This lighthouse has stood the test of time. Even today, it's fully operational and flashes light every 20 seconds. The lamp has a range of 24 nautical miles. The beach also has small shacks and eateries. After coming to Udupi, if you are not having gadbad, then your trip is incomplete. In the evening, we went to Hotel Diana. It is believed that gadbad ice cream was first invented in this hotel. After having dinner here, we went back to our hotel. That's it for today guys. I'm ending my vlog here. If you like my content, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Till then. Peace.